I'm just obsessed with this. It's like an instant hack for looking more expensive, more polished, more intentional with very little effort. Oh, I'm so happy you're here today. This is gonna be such a useful video for building out outfits really all year long, but especially as we move into the fall months. If this is your first video, welcome. I'm so happy that you found me. My name is Orly, and this is the DIY Designer. I release a brand new video every single week. Those videos are usually either DIY fashion, developing your own personal style, or styling hacks types of videos. Now, today's video is perfect, fits right in line with that. Today is all about elevating your basic outfits with tonal dressing. Now, tonal dressing is essentially picking one color and sort of playing within the highlights in the shadows of that one color. I don't know what it is, but there is something about tonal dressing that just always creates a look that looks more expensive. It looks more intentional. It looks more polished. And the wonderful thing about it is that no matter your style language, you can do this because you're just going to be playing within the tones and the colors that you love, that you gravitate towards. So it's totally one of a kind to you. Let's talk about the clothing to start. I'd say about 50% of this rack is pieces that I already owned. I opened up my closet and I just started pulling out things that felt like they were within the same color family. The other half are brand new, beautiful pieces from Lily Silk. Now, if you guys follow me, you know I love Lily Silk. This is probably my fourth video with them. They're sponsoring today's video and I'm so appreciative. Lily Silk is not concerned with being like fast fashion, trend focus of the moment. They know that if you are gonna spend your money on a genuine 100% silk piece, that it's an investment and that you want that investment to last forever. Number one is the quality of the silk is like the absolute best. Best quality silk is gonna last you forever. But number two is that they're creating silhouettes and pieces that are timeless, that are elegant, that will always be in style so that they will be able to be hanging in your closet and evolve with you as your style evolves because the pieces are like the most beautiful blank canvas you could ever ask for. So I am going to be building out outfits, mixing together thrifted pieces, old pieces, lily silk pieces, and down below I will link anything that I can. All of the lily silk pieces definitely will be linked plus a coupon code if you guys wanna try it out because it is so beautiful and I really recommend it. Okay, number one tip, open up your closet and shop your own closet. That's the first thing you wanna do. I guarantee you that there are certain colors and certain color families that you gravitate towards without realizing it. You think the color looks good, on you it makes you feel really great and so you probably have quite a few pieces within the same color family take a look scan what you got and as you start to see consistency pull all of those pieces out that are within a similar color family and lay them all on your bed tip number two in order for this to work you need a minimum of two colors ideally three in this outfit you can see I just have two colors I've got the white blouse and kind of the bone pants but as you see I add in more colors the overall look starts to become much more intentional the scarf is kind of a middle tone between the top and the pants, and the handbag is kind of a middle tone between the scarf and the shirt. The more variations of the same color that you have, the more intentional the outfit feels. So you can start layering on basics and end up creating an outfit that looks super intentional by just adding in more colors of the same tone. Now this top is beautiful. This is a lily silk draped front top, and I love that the front has that perfect drape that I normally try to do by like crisscrossing a shirt and tucking it into my underwear, but this has it. You can leave it loose and open, or you could tuck it in, to sort of fake that perfect drape, but it's a beautiful basic that's always gonna be in style. The silk is amazing, I, I really, really love this top. Tip number three, you wanna be conscious of warm and cool undertones. Cool undertones generally have an undertone of green, blue, or purple, while warm will have more of like a red, orange, or yellow. Now you'll see in these two pieces, they're both chocolate brown, but it's obvious that the top and the jacket have warm undertones with like a red base, while the lily silk draped pants have more of a green undertone. So this works, but if you wanna really pull it off super successfully, I would suggest trying to stay with cool tones. So this chocolate brown top has a cool undertone. It's darker, which gives me my tonal effect. I'm playing within the highlights and the lowlights of the pants, but they are both a cool undertone, which is making it work a little more successfully. These pants are beautiful. These are a lily silk draped front pant, and they're gonna work amazing for fall because the colors are gonna blend so great. Even this look that I did here, this is a lily silk cardigan. You're gonna see it a bunch in this video, and a little boost like an old bustier that I've had forever. I'm playing within the shades of brown. So I've got like camel and nude and chocolate. The colors look so beautiful together. And another tip, number four, prints can work as long as the colors within that print are toned.
tonal. A good way to think of it is almost like watercolor. You want the colors to be really soft and blended. No harsh black or white or anything that's gonna look too graphic. You can see within this print, all of the colors in my outfit are pulling from inside of the print. So while this isn't technically tonal, we think of more solids, this really works and ultimately it created an outfit I never would have thought to put together. So even if you're doing this just to open up your mind and have more creativity, I love this outfit for fall so much and I don't think I ever would have thought to do it if I wasn't sort of doing this tonal exercise. Next up is this, it's, it's almost like a set but not. They're separates but they can be worn together beautifully. It's this sort of draped front, the top is made out of a silk chiffon and the skirt is like a true silk. One of the things that makes silk such a great option when you're doing tonal dressing is that built into the silk, there are highlights, midtones, and low lights. If you look at the skirt, the way that it naturally is, it's almost like velvet, right? It has all of these different tones built in. So I'm getting three tones in the skirt that I can then play up on depending on which direction I wanna go. If I wanna work within the darker tones, I can pair darker accessories and jackets. If I wanna work with the lighter tones, I can pair that. So there's so much versatility when you're doing silk because of the sort of built-in nature of the fabric. The details are gonna change the outfit to your personal style. I swapped a pair of sneakers and I instantly felt more like me. This jacket with this outfit and sneakers was instantly me. Same, I swapped out the blouse for a sweatshirt and like it started to completely change the look. I'm still tonal. I'm still working within these really beautiful mid highlights and lowlights of the same color, but just keep in mind that it can constantly evolve for your style. So you're looking for colors that you love, but make sure that you style them in a way that's very you. One of my favorite pieces in the entire bundle I got from Lily Silk this time is this cardigan. It's They've got like these amazing cashmere and wool cardigans and it's like a grandpa cardigan. The fact that it's a little oversized, I like that I can create kind of a deep V. It's soft enough that I can tuck it under my bra. I can wear it open, like draped off a shoulder. And one of the things to note here actually with color is as soon as I threw on the dark jacket, the sweater becomes the mid-tone, right? So when I was wearing it just with the skirt like this, it's my darkest tone. But when I throw the jacket on, it becomes my mid-tone. So just try to think of each color as like a tonal rainbow playing within the highlights and the lowlights. Now I just wanted to show you this skirt, how cute it is with like a graphic t-shirt and chunky boots. So much versatility in these pieces that can be customized for your own style. Now this is another one of their sweaters. This is a cashmere sweater with this cool like cable knit. And one of the things that I loved about it is because it's slightly sheer, it's not like a bright white. It blends really well with all of these other tones. So I put on a pair of almost like grayish leather shorts and then a off-white bone-ish jacket. So I've got bright white in my bag, a slightly softer white in my sweater, a slightly softer white in my jacket, a darker white in my shorts, and all together this is really fresh and fun, but it's just about layering those colors. I guarantee you have tons of white and neutrals because they're basics in our wardrobe. So that's kind of where tip number one really comes into play. Shopping your own closet and recognizing the colors that you've already gravitated towards is gonna help you if you do decide you wanna buy some new pieces. You're gonna know which colors are gonna naturally fit within that tone vibe that you've already got. So you're gonna end up with a lot more versatility. Um, this is another outfit that I put together kind of focusing on this trench coat. I wanted to build something that worked within the trench. It's this like silky trench that could be worn as a dress or it can be worn as a jacket. Now, while I was sort of in this like outfit creation mode, I wanted to take advantage. So I even started building out some outfits that were just like regular fall outfits that I knew I was gonna love. I always snap a photo in the mirror like a selfie and throw them in an outfits folder. So on a day when I'm not feeling particularly inspired or particularly cute, I can look at my outfits folder. I can see an outfit that I created that I knew that I loved and I can just recreate it with very little effort. Here's another one that I did using all of the top elements that I did previously, but with a pair of like slouchy wide leg cargos. All of these little elements are gonna totally transform based off your personal style. So you can see I am tonal here in all of them, but the vibe of them is completely different. Now, one of the most important tips any color works. I know that we've done a lot of neutrals here, but bold colors work. The same exact thing applies. You want a highlight, a mid-tone, and a darker tone. That's it. Tip number four, if you are gonna do a contrast color, try to make it black or white. If you do a different color, it's gonna look more like color blocking than tonal. So by just sticking with black and white as your contrast, it allows this to continue to focus on the colors of the outfit, the tonal colors that you built. Whereas if I did like purple or orange, it would feel a little more color blocked. And you can see the way the three tones build is perfect. Now, 
This is a lily silk top. It's this beautiful off the shoulder top that comes with this like matching sash you're gonna see in a minute. This is a little bit of a different tone. You can see that the first pink outfit had a cooler undertone, almost like a blue uh, undertone to it. While this top has a little bit more of a red undertone. These pants I think actually worked really well. And the sash that I tied around the waist, having it hang down, it almost reminded me of those, what's that brand? It's like Helsley or something. It's got these like sashes built into the pants. The sash can be worn as a turtleneck. It can be worn around the waist. It can create a true waist, a hip worn with jeans, a million different options. Um, but again, just remember that bold colors can absolutely work for tonal dressing. If that fits your style, it's really just about highlight, mid-tone, low light. Now this is a bonus. I picked these black pants. They're not total at all, but I had to have them. They, look at this. Look at these pants. They are the swooshiest, most joyous pants you're ever gonna put on. You're gonna want to twist around. They look like a skirt almost, but they're pants. I'm gonna link them below just in case they can be dressed up or dressed down and I'm such a huge fan. I have them in another color and I love them so I wanted to share. All right, you guys, I hope this video was helpful. As you can see, there are so many tones that you can play with. Whatever those colors are that work for you, that you love, that you feel like flatter your skin tone, that sort of work with your personality and your general style language, those are the colors that you can do. So really shop your own closet. This is a great tip if you are doing a little shopping run and you wanna buy some new things. Buying things that are gonna be within the same color family as a lot of items you already own is gonna give you even more flexibility as you are getting dressed and creating outfits. And I hope that you you guys loved the lily silk pieces i mean they're just buttery soft incredible quality always in style heirloom pieces that you can keep and hand down the links are below if you guys want to check it out um plus a coupon code so you can get a little discount next week's video is amazing it is like pearlescent metallic cargos Oh my God, they are amazing. I'm obsessed. I've been forcing myself not to wear them until I film the like finished modeling part and it's killing me because I love them so much. Uh, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. Have a beautiful week. I will see you next week. Bye.